uh, uh, we are on the one side not exposed to China only, uh, we are having a globally distributed, well-balanced distribution across the globe. So BMW is balancing if there's a market with less growth in one area with more growth in the other area. So we are quite balanced. China has shown last year a good uh, figure of growth, but this was not only China. We have seen growth in South Korea, for example, in Japan, but we also have seen a two-digit number of growth in Europe. So Europe is still 45% of our sales volume. And the US is very important to us as well as being the second home of BMW. So with that, all markets in, in place and balancing all these markets, we see future growth. On Europe, your home market, so far we've been told that you've been managing to stay above concerns surrounding Brexit, but we're getting closer to the UK triggering Article 50. Do you expect to see an impact after that time? And how concerned are you about the UK saying they could leave the single market and likely will? I mean, it's too early to really calculate and to understand what will happen in detail. But I mean, as a BMW group, I would like to have access to free markets. I like foreign trade. I definitely need free markets and international trade. And we will see in the UK what agreement will come in the year 2019, maybe with the European government and Brussels. But it's too early to prognose. But we are clearly a driver for free trade and I hopefully there's a compromise between the UK and Europe which will bring benefits for both sides. On the topic of free trade, we understand that the White House is still looking at the option of a border adjustment import tax. What is your message to the administration on what kind of impact that would have both for your business and the industry as a whole? And my message is that our biggest plant in the world is in South Carolina. We employ more than 70,000 people in the United States, nearly 9,000 people in, in South Carolina with the Spartanburg plant. We manufactured last year 411,000 vehicles, more than we sold in the United States. So we have a big footprint in the United States. We are the biggest net exporter from the United States with worse than 10 billion US dollars a year. So I think that's what, what is BMW in the United States all about. Yet you do have a large plant in Mexico looking at increasing production there. If there is in fact a tariff slapped across the border, will you move production to the United States? First of all, the plant in Mexico is going to open in 2019. It's much smaller. Yeah, the capacity will be 150,000 units. Spartanburg does have triple the figure, 450,000 units capacity annual production. It will ramp up slowly because it's a new plan and we are flexible. We will build a new 3 Series world model there which we can deliver to the worldwide markets. So we are flexible. Does that mean you're open to a possible change then, a shift in production from Mexico more to the United States as part of that flexibility? You see this 3 Series model is being allocated and assembled in China, in Munich, uh, in Germany as well as uh, in Mexico. So there's the flexibility to move volume around in the network. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.